Hey, Retcon Raider here, with special thanks to the Raiders, the fine folks who help make these videos possible, including but not limited to Dragon Matrix 7, Matthew Smith, Revenant, Aloise, Eerie V23, Egon Alter, Emil, Excelsior, Goatlabe, Kazorm, Nathan Welch Jr., Random Passerby, Robbie B., Thomas Pietkowski, Trip Hoppinskip, and Valenrook. Thanks for your support, guys. That said, let's get started. And welcome back to Wildermyth, The Enduring War. As today, we stare down the barrel of a locked and loaded incursion. Though given the uh, very circuitous route it's taking, we're not exactly under a lot of pressure here. Um... I mean, it is definitely going to steamroll through a land arcanery, but after that, the next actual threatened tile in its path is Slimdare. So really, all we need to do is rush some folks out there, get some defenses up, and then it should fizzle out on those, in theory. Let's get that taken care of, and then we can get back to exploring. Once again, we would have the B squad take care of this, but they're just too far out right now. And let's get a tunnel up. A song for the someday gone. Really? Alright, well, I mean, I'm not really familiar with this one, so... Yeah, sure, let's uh, check this out. We'll tag in the B team to uh, help finish the tunnel. How long has it been? Life's gotten too crowded. How long since I've really felt... inspired? Redcon, did I hear you right? Oh, did you? I was talking to myself, mostly. But you're leaving, right? I was going to take some time for... you know. I don't know what it is, really. I could help you figure it out, I guess. Oh, I wasn't really... Yeah, I'll grab my things. You have any idea where we're off to? Somewhere I can find some meaning. Perspective. In that case, isn't the bar a good place to start? No. <laughs> it's beyond the horizon. That's what I do know. I guess we could use a hunter, which... which really means Valenrook. We don't have any others. Oh, that's not far at all. We'll probably wrap this up before the B-team even reaches Slimdare. So, what do you think of Alina's tomb? Is that what this place is called? They say the brave who come here shall learn of themselves deepest truths. Well, one thing I've learned is to mistrust your vacation ideas. So, uh, found any deepest truths yet? The day dies, sun falls away, and in the night, they build a fire. I don't know what I expected to find. I think I'm mostly looking for... a feeling. Is that really something you can search for? Remember when we were new at this? Everything was new. Each path we took and every labor we put ourselves to? I'm... bored. 
Hmm. Tell me of sorrow, this rose that you kept, by the bed in which last your poor Isabel slept. Yeah, I'm not going to sing that. That song. Slash poem. She woke full of laughter, and brightly she gazed. The curve of her mouth and a kiss she upraised. She sang over the hills, peaks a shy but sure dawn. And sure as the sunrise, I'll someday be gone. But recall me in love, and our joy may live on. And you do, and you do, and you do. <laughs> the old love song is one he sung a hundred times by a fire. A hundred times with a friend. And still... Tonight, it feels new. How strange. I always did love that song. Me too, even if I don't quite get it. A noise rises in the darkness. Not an echo of them, but the resonant call of something else. Did our voices wake the neighbors? I don't like waiting to get ambushed. Let's look around. Leaving the firelight, they circle around through some trees. They spot their foes entering the camp. Well illuminated. Plus one legacy point. And cunning. Uh, plus one damage on flanking attacks. Versus one Woken and one Woken Slinger. That is... This is massive overkill, but sure. That's just salvage. Ooh, Gwelder Talisman, plus health. That we can actually use. Let's see here. Alright, let's toss that to Rangar. To my eyes, it's all clear. Same here. Nothing moving. Well, that was... sudden. Bit of exercise before bed, that's all. Those people are dead, Dracketh. You worry me sometimes. You know, I'm glad we came out here. But let's be on the road at dawn. Yeah? When you sang, and when I sang with you. I started thinking that, really, the most powerful, most original things. They're old. They grow with you. Like good friends, and songs remembered. In the morning, they will simply start home. Hmm. Not quite what I was expecting, but interesting. And yeah, yeah, let's uh, let's upgrade Earth Scribe. As aforementioned, we're uh, focusing on support with Red, of course, so no point in investing in new offensive abilities. Earth Scribe's pretty solid. We'll leave the more offensive magics to uh, Verlin and Ragnar. Okay, let's regroup. Uh, the B squad did not reach Slimdare, so we'll just have them change course, and they will instead secure Hilarani Estelle. 
And then from here on out, they can follow in the A squad's wake, uh, tagging in as needed. Oof, that's a more thoggy, heavy upgrade draw. But I think we can live with it. And I would like to stockpile some points. of faith plus health. I mean, Rangar is still trailing, so I guess that will also go to him. Now let's get defenses up. Right. Great Bull Highlands. Korgar Scales. Hero Worship. Ah, Korgar Scales. I've read about this place. No one knows who lived here, and there's speculation that they weren't even human. As is his way, Retcon walks a bit back from the group which is why he is the first to notice. We're being followed. Quietly, he falls even further back and circles around. This is a good spot to ambush whoever's on our tail. A human. Stop right there. Ah! You okay back there, Retcon? I'm fine, but this little stalker here better start talking. Well? Oh, oh, you're... you're him! Best day ever! Meeting the one, the only Retcon of the Retcon Raiders! And you're Verlin. The stories don't do you justice. You... you know us? Yes, of course I know you. I'm Hamjo, and I'm your biggest fan. You have got to be... Wait, biggest? You mean there are more of you? Never mind that. How do we know you're not a spy? A spy? Oh no, I'm afraid you have it all wrong. I'm not here to spy on you. I'm here to join you. It's my life's ambition to be a member of the Retcon Raiders. Yeah, I guess we have been around for like 20 years now. I heard stories of you sung in taverns, of your deeds and your accomplishments. I knew I had to join you. I practiced with my weapons every day. I even defended my village a few times. I heard tell that you were nearby the other day. I set out immediately to find you. And so I have. Please, let me join you. I've been training tirelessly for this. I will be an asset to you, I promise. Yeah, of course. You'll make a fine addition to the Retcon Raiders, Hamjo. Though, uh, we'll have to do something about that name. But, uh, welcome aboard. We're happy to have you along. The more, the merrier. Really? Woohoo! First lesson, no whooping right before a fight. Right, right, of course. Wait, fight? We're fighting? <laughs> and welcome aboard to whoever that is. I'll have to check the uh, 
the waiting list for a compatible male fighter request. And you know what? Given that he's a two-hander in heavy armor, let's go for Zealous Leap. As we've seen, mobility is an issue with warriors. Butler, all its movements are measured and soft, elegant and ill-meaning. Oh, and he's right there. Also, a stone spirit. Which passed through a door, so that means it slowed down. Hmm. Um, shoot. Well, we're definitely not catching that thing in a single turn. We've got too many dangerous foes right in front of us. So, first things first, let's clear the room. Starting with some choice area attacks, I think. Weldling's immune to fire. Herlax first. And now the clock stopper. Oh, unexpected, but that's fine. We'll clear some space for Dracoth. Drop the Weldling. Or the Butler. That's the Wardrobe. And that's the Weldling. Breaching. Okay, Batchby and Somalia. There's our watchman. Somalia is too far. Um. Herlax. Actually, let's uh, bring the rest of the party up real quick. And block the Somalia. Lovely. Careful, new guy. Let's blaze a trail. We have two turns to catch that spirit.
Oh, bones, right. Yeah, that works. Actually, Herlax. Or not. Okay, back to Bone Lance. Oh, for goodness sake. Okay, Rhett, I am counting on you here, buddy. Thank you, me. And we're good. Let's go tag that spirit. Obviously, we're not going to override Riliana's current weapons with a stone axe. So, instead, we'll just take our legacy point. As aforementioned, I would like to start hoarding those. They'll be increasingly important as we get into the later acts. Run free, Spirit of the Wild! And we're done. Death by indignance. Hey, and a level up for Riliana. Hmm. Ooh. Repost. That is a good one to pair with Untouchable. Because it's an automatic dodge, so this would make an automatic counterattack on an automatic melee dodge. Strap of Courage, plus block. Who do we have that's block-based? Dracket, I guess. Oh, Coachman. I forgot about those guys. I guess it has been a while since I've run a full-length Morthogi campaign. That'll uh, certainly make things interesting. Oh, right, the new guy. Uh, well, we'll have him join the B squad. And that's the incursion. Slim Dare is safe, we get our two extra legacy points. And we have a new recruit to customize. We'll be right back. And we're back with our newest recruit, Fred. A slightly more respectable name than Ham Joe. Uh, technically, the uh, person who requested this character asked for Uncle Fred, but I figure at 21 we'll let him put a few more years on before we uh, give him any such honorifics. A boy was born in Griffin Rain, a peerless rascal. Often guilty of deceits and petty thefts, Fred was too cute to punish. In an abandoned castle where he waited out a rainy autumn, he made friends with a wily and playful spirit. Unbeknownst to Fred, the lost soul hitched a ride in his heart. His parents came down with a wretched body-wrecking disease. Angry and insisting that they deserve better, he went in search of a cure. Which 
I can certainly respect. Again, if only it were really that easy. Fred is a hot-headed goofball with the Clown, Inhabited, and Destiny hooks. Also a whopping plus 40 to Charisma. Not sure what that actually does, but it certainly sounds impressive. Slave for Love. Oh, a Rangar quest. Interesting. Looks like the B Squad gets a day out. I mean, I'm not sure they're actually capable of handling it, but you know, what's the worst that could happen? Let's do it. Fox? Meet Fralia. Name is Fraley, actually. She collects ancient coins. Relics fascinate me. Charming. She has a journey to go on, so I offered to go with her. Go? Yeah, so here's what it is. My father was captured by roaming Drowvin. Oh. Well then, maybe we should go get the company. The company? No, it... It's not too many Drowvin. Oh. Still, it is some Drowvin, so... And they've captured my whole family, she said, while smiling. None of that was suspicious at all, was it? So we'll be going, then. Fralia says. Name's just Fraley, actually. How about Fralewen? That was an ancient queen's name. Thump. Should I let Rangar have his fun and also probably die? Hold up. At least take me along. I know the folks up there quite well. Oh, that's even better. Both of you. And we will round that out with Fred, the not-yet-uncle. Good luck, guys. I'm sure this will go great. Thoridia Garden. Dalwist Outfitter. Crag Eagle. Almost a Thalwist Outfitter, aren't we? How would I know? Well, there's a decently high hill. Good vantage point. Let's climb it. And we have seen this one before. Atop the highest hill. <sighs> that was <laughs> steeper than it needed to be. Quite a view, though. I'll say that. Something's here. Dracket, this isn't safe. A big old thing? With a bigger, older mama? Like I said, we, we did this one back in Season 1, which I believe is how Kaz got that feather for Lula, which she wears to this day. At least until she gets reintroduced, at which point all of her accessories get reset. We'll go for the uh, actual egg this time. Dracket. It's fine. I'll just be two seconds. Now, how should I... I guess this old flower sack. Dracketh, it's here. It's about to be. Whoosh. Whom. Heka! Hurry up! Faster! In the bag, little buddy. Duck! Dwok! Oof! Kersplat! Aw. My egg! She's shattered! It could be our skulls next! 
they managed to scramble down safely the rest of the way. That night, they hear a shrill, distant keening that rises from the hills, mourning and unbreaking. The stars throb. Something covers them for an instant, and they reappear. The fire pecks pine cones and scatters sparks. Minus 20 goofball. A sobering experience for our resident as your assassin. You know what? Maybe that's for the best. We've all got to grow up sometime. Ah, and Dracuts at half health. That makes sense. Just in time for our first coachman. It tilts and trembles, never still. Loping into a mighty gallop, the shrill of saws and thunder of feet turn deafening. Which, if I recall correctly, indicates it has a special charge attack. We'll have to be careful with our formation. Or we could just, you know, kill it before it gets a turn. That is also an option. Armor's gone. Liliana moving up. Berlin Walls goes for the kill. Oh, actually. Batch be locked down. That buys us some breathing room. That's the coachman. And the wardrobe. And Dracoth is just happy to be here. Nice. Prep for breach. Hi there. Watchman and Butler. Let's soften them up a bit. Need to get those books out of the way. down. Butler's still up. Warriors on point.
Nice hit. Guard. And guard. And shoot. Somalia's incoming. Shouldn't be a problem. That's the butler. And now for the small fries. Get over here. Double nice. Oh my. Track it is up a level. And we will absolutely upgrade Paladin. That'll let her go into guard mode every turn, no matter what she does. As for retcon, can't really say I'm crazy about the upgrade on wisdom. But man, what else would we take? Not vigor flow. I guess soul splitter. That is guaranteed damage mitigation. Though I will say that's one he'll probably train out of once he re-enters in a future campaign. Plus 10 retirement age could be handy for this campaign. No, no, we've uh, we've got at least three more recruits coming. I really shouldn't cling so hard to the A squad. Belts of Divinity plus Swarding. Which is of most use on a warrior. Since they have the uh, naturally lowest magic resistance. Triple Spectic. That's certainly fun. Yeah, we are uh, getting pretty deep in the Morthogi deck here. Okay, well, the uh, B squad is otherwise occupied, so we'll just secure our own kills. Tier 2 Greatsword. I don't know if we actually need that. You know what? Let's give that to Fox. I'm not a big fan of the uh, knockback mechanic anyway. And this gives him solid bumps to block and accuracy. Or we could give it to Fred. But he came with a Tier 2 Great Axe. With Fox, it's also a tier upgrade. Might end up being moot anyway, if we find a really nice artifact or something. Gravel Pelt Bracelet, plus armor. Which, I suppose, goes to Rangar. We've got to keep that guy alive. I do have uh, eventual plans for him. We just have to keep him alive long enough to get there. We now return you to Slave for Love, already in progress. It's an awkward, quiet trek. Many of the shortcuts Fraley seems to know well are unfamiliar to Fox. You did it, Fox. You made it weird. I hate to be the one to tell you this, but she's hiding something. Fraley's playing some other game of her own. Okay, trust me. My reading does extend to matters of the heart. Cree, Cree. Whoop. 
On second thought, I relish being the one to tell you this. We're here. Crap. The thick line of forest rises before them, not clearly menacing nor even remarkable. Birds and squirrels and the things in between make their sunset sounds. They've got my brother in there. Better let me go on alone. I know these woods. You come when I call. Whoosh. We'll uh, follow Fraley into the forest. Yeah, I'm not letting her out of my sight. Rangar and Fox creep through the trunks, staying quiet as possible, shadowing Fraley's winding course. You really are ridiculous. Just give it a moment. Well, hello? Anyone there? Wish, Swift. Don't tell me this was for nothing. Someone left a chest here. Hey, Sclair. Alone? Drow. Shh, watch. Oh, Sclick. Why are you sneaking up on me? Sclack. Light coming. Did you brink? Sclackick? Slaves? Yeah, there's three of them out by the near ruins. Don't pretend your bird didn't clock them. They're waiting for my signal and won't expect an attack if you're fast. Hand over the coin. Disc metal yours when captured, they. That wasn't our agreement. The drow slaps its own snout and splutters. Slack, Slurk. That's right. Their mistake, Slurk. Here's coin for you. The silent one drops a dirty sack of money in Fraley's palms. She goes on her way. Rangar, Fox, and Fred have just been sold to Draven slavers. You okay? Perfect. Cre? Whoop. Cree! Get ready. And we may not have found love, but we did get wood. Wildly inappropriate. Stump and haunt. No big deal. Well, actually, maybe it is a big deal. We are running with uh, rookies here. Let's use exceptional caution. Nice, nice. That one's neutralized for a round. Blades at the ready. Hey, okay. Haunt is down. Ooh, double attack, okay. Light ding on Fox. But I think we're good. Let's see here. We'll go for a flank. That's a guaranteed hit. Oh, whoop. <laughs> that, uh, that blast is much larger than I anticipated. And that works. Not bad for a bunch of rookies. A low mood fogs their otherwise cloudless return. But the last evening, a storm welcomes them back to Lonely Fair. I suppose I'll never really be happy. 
You can't still be pining for Fraley, right? It's the same old story, isn't it? Man falls for woman, man is promptly sold to drow slavers. This couple's cute. The girl is. But, um, hey, Fox? What? You don't have a sister, do you? A sister? Why? Best not to answer that, I think. But, um, level up for Rengar. And you know what? While I would normally go right for the upgrade on Elementalist, uh, I already know what his future holds. And that is not it. What we actually need are things that don't rely on interfusion. Or at least uh, active casting interfusions. Passive interfusions are fine. Which I guess means we're either going with soul splitting or endurance. And between those two, I think I'm leaning soul splitting, for reasons previously mentioned. All right, folks, uh, we are past time, but I feel like this has made for a pretty productive session. We had four combat encounters, I think? Two tile-based and two character arcs. Oh, and uh, we also pulled that extra recruit, Uncle Fred, which was a nice unexpected bonus. At this point, I believe all we've got left are uh, to clear those two tiles, plus a third one that appears after that. And then uh, we also have to resecure these other three tiles, but the B squad can take care of that. So yeah, yeah, we'll uh, hit the pause button for now. I'll take stock of exactly what we need to do here, and we will uh, pick up here next time as we bring Chapter 3 to a close and set the stage for the B squad to start moving into the limelight. See you then. Oh, and remember, although I do love playing Wildermyth, you can find out more about the game by visiting the official website. And if you'd like to help support the channel, then feel free to push the buttons that do the things, or maybe even check out the Patreon, the uh, YouTube memberships, or the uh, new Nexus GG page. Links are in the description.